Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell next to it so you can notify it every single time that we post a new video. So I just took a shower and did my makeup. Normally when I start the video, I don't have any makeup on and then I end up getting ready and then I come back ready to the vlog. But today I decided to start it off already ready because my hair loss is getting so, so bad. So yesterday on live, if you guys watched that live um, when we made cheesecake, I was actually talking to you guys a, a little bit about my hair loss. Um, a couple of you guys had also been asking me like to update you guys on how my hair loss was doing, which you guys probably don't even see a difference. Or might think um, que no se nota tanto, but I already did my hair and I already like shaded in a lot of my bald spots. So yeah, I don't have like full on like bald bald spots, but my hair is definitely falling. And I don't want to like mess it up because I already put on hairspray and stuff. But especially like right here and right here, like I have so much um scalp. Probably scalp, so they said right, like your brain or whatever. Probably on the next video before I do my hair or my makeup, I'll show you guys like how bad it is getting. In case some of you guys can relate, um, I'm not trying to like stress too much about it or like beat myself up for it because I know you know why this is happening. It's obviously because you know I had a beautiful bendy so I'm just going to have to wait it out and wait for my hair to Start growing back. I feel like right now. I am at like its peak of like hair fall He is about to be four months So I guess you can say I am um, now four months postpartum and I've heard that that's when it gets like the worst like three to four months So I feel like I'm at my peak um, and then eventually I'm sure it's gonna start growing back So yeah, I'm not stressing too much about it You know if my hair was just randomly falling for no reason then I would definitely be freaking out um, But I know the reason is for you know postpartum it is part of it so yeah, I just have to live with it and also I have black hair So the good thing is that I can just put like black eyeshadow and feel all of this in and I also recently ordered like a little um, It's like a little hairspray. It's actually for canas But I obviously ordered it like to cover up this basis that way whenever I like feel it in It doesn't take me forever because I've always filled in like this little part right here like nothing major But now I literally have to like do all of this. So yeah, that was me updating you guys about my hair loss and how it's been doing so yeah it's not getting better it's definitely getting worse before it's getting better but once i notice that it stops i'll let i'll let you guys know i actually did my hair right now on this restroom but i already vacuumed it watch i'm going to take you guys to this other restroom where i brushed my hair <sighs> and let me show you guys just and this is like a third of how much hair there is like this is not much because like you know must me said brush me pelo but let me show you guys so here is some hair and then here is some more hair and then over here and then right there is a bunch of hair and then hello hair and that was just with me literally just brushing my hair here um where i actually did my ponytail in the other restroom do it like a freaking puddle of hair so now every time i do my hair i literally have to take out the vacuum and vacuum because it gets crazy and then we have just um white floor and my hair is long and black so it's not a good combo it's not a good pair as soon as i drop one hair like it's super noticeable so, so leslie ordered this uh bodysuit yesterday and it got here and it looks like it'll almost fit baby g this shit is super tiny look i don't know on the camera it looks kind of big look, look, look. compared to my body look at this how is this supposed to fit an adult i don't get it look how tiny it is bro it's like for baby g right here look <laughs> okay so leslie says this thing this little thing right here fits that it stretches so before she tries it she's not here i'm gonna put it to the test see this shit really stretches good this shit a size like three months. This shit a fit baby G, boy. I'm wearing boxers, guys, so don't worry. Let's see how it goes. Okay, stretchy a little bit. Oh, my nipples are showing. Here we go. Damn, this shit does stretch. You're right, babe. It does stretch. Why do you have that on? Because I told him I didn't believe you that it stretched. You were recording right now? So, baby G just woke up. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, fine. I'll get the camera out of your face. Wait, but before you go, do you want to tell them what your daddy did? You don't want to tell them? Okay, it's okay. Guys, he's literally looking at me like this. <laughs> Watching me record, look. This is currently my view. Get your phone out of my face. Why are you angry? Why are you angry? Because you just woke up? That's why you're angry? But as you guys read in the title, Alex crashed our car a couple of days ago. Um, so no, it is not clickbait. He really did crash our car 
a couple of days ago um, so once he gets here we'll sit down and talk to you guys and then show you guys on how bad it is it's actually not that bad thank god and obviously nothing happened to us or anything um so yeah, we wanted to share that with you guys yesterday when i was live i actually told you guys about it because i was like <laughs> wanting to tell you guys but then i decided to just make it a vlog that way we can show you guys and then Alex can tell you guys his side of the story and i can tell you guys my side of the story because i was actually there <laughs> the baby's just looking at me yes why are you staring at me i'm just talking to my friends I'm just talking to our friends, okay? I love when he just looks at me like that, like in Ojalo, because he's actually smiling and really, really happy. Like a good 90% of the day, like he's a really, really easy crowd. Now, if you guys remember in the beginning, like he was a tough crowd, not anymore. So whenever he is like a little cranky and like uh, doing angry faces at me, I think it's like the cutest thing ever. So yeah, guys, that's what this vlog is pretty much about. And once he gets here, we'll get to the bottom of it. I already told everybody what you did. What? What you did. I, I already told everybody. What? <laughs> you look like a re niño regañado in the corner. Okay, guys. Long story short, my baby <laughs> daddy right here, Alex, crashed our car. No, guys. Um, I'm not obviously. Yeah, no, guys. Obviously, guys, I'm not. I'm not proud of it. Um, I mean, it's not a huge wreck. You're saying he crashed the car like it was like it hit a rock wall or something. Um, <laughs> like luckily, it wasn't anything like that. It was just a small fender bender at my dad's house. I, you already told him, no? You you told the story on live? No, I didn't tell the story live. Just yesterday on live, I told you guys like towards the very end, like once the viewers were low, I'm like, okay, whoever stayed till the end, tea time. Alex crashed the car. That's what we're gonna vlog tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a uh, obvious. Oh, stop being annoying. When you hear crash, like it can be like really severe or it can be like a little hit or something. I mean, it's obviously like from from level one to ten. What do you call it? A level two? A one? No, level two. A one. Nah. I'm gonna say two. With two. two. Yeah, this is basically what happened. I will show you guys how it looks right now. What happened? Okay, so we were at my parents' house and we were leaving. So it was me, Leslie, and the baby. And my dad wasn't home when we got there. Remember, he wasn't home. So I parked up in the driveway where he usually parks. Mm -hmm. His parents' driveway. Yeah, in my parents' driveway. And then he showed up a little while later and he parked not behind me, but a little offset. Mm -hmm. Cause he knew, you know, they're gonna back out right now. They're gonna leave. And he parked a little offset, not fully away from me, but kind of like half of the, half of his truck was kind of like right behind me. And because he didn't have enough room to go to the other side, whatever, we were there and then we left. I get in the car and I wasn't, oh. I wasn't texting. I wasn't on my phone. I promise you, even Leslie knows. Yeah, well, I was in the backseat with the baby. <laughs> yeah, I and was, I just hear a boom, and I'm yeah. like, <gasps> So, where I parked at my mom's house, she has a huge palm tree. Those, I don't know if you guys, you guys are pretty familiar with those big, like, extremely ginormous palm trees. Like a palmera? Yeah, it was, she has it right there. So, it's the palm tree and the car. So, my instinct <clears throat> when I got in was to look at the palm tree. So, you don't hit the palm so tree. So, I don't hit the palm tree. So, I'm reversing, and I am. I'm so stupid because you're supposed to look driver's head. You're supposed to look at both mirrors and the rear view. Before he has you a reverse. license. Fun fact. And I was so focused on the palm tree, and I was reversing, 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 and the alarms didn't go off. Or I think it, it was BB. Is it because some, I, I don't know if you guys know, but like in some vehicles, most of those of you guys who have like a rear view camera, the car or like an object can be like not even in your path, but a little bit to the side, and your alarms will beep, but you're completely clear. Yeah, I think it didn't beep. So it was beeping. So but it wasn't like because that's when it's like extremely close. It's just like do, do, do. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. So I'm looking, I'm looking. This guy, I'm good. And I, by the time I turned to look to the other side, because I was already gonna look to make sure the truck was in the way, I see my dad going like this. <laughs> He's literally going like this, and I'm like, and by the time I look in the mirror, I just go boom. You're done. You're like, literally. what would he want? Like, like just like, like a thump. And of course, Leslie was like, ah, what's up? You know. Women just over exaggerating oh, like crazy. Yeah, you're like, oh my god. She swore like we swerved, rolled over, <laughs> fell off a bridge, and then hit the fucking wall. Literally, it was just like a we were both like this. Like that, literally. Nope. And I literally reversed the corner of the car into the my dad's bumper, and then I'm like, oh my god. So I get off and I look at it. My dad's like, Did you not see him? He's like, I was going like this, and I was like, Well, I didn't see you. I was clearly looking the other way. So long story short, <laughs> That's over here, I like hit it. And my dad was like going crazy and he felt bad. <laughs> he he felt so bad. For, he felt more bad than me and Leslie. Like he literally was calling. He called me when I got home. Because he could have sworn that Leslie was going to like kick my ass when we got home. Give him back on the scene or did. something. What I was telling Leslie, what sucks about this is that obviously it's never cool to crash. But it was such a lame crash. Crash. Yeah. Like, you know, like I literally reversed like, I mean, my driveway. And, yeah, that's what I said. There's, it's not like there's crashing cool crashes, is cool yeah. or like whatever. But it's just such a shitty, shitty way to... You know, dent your vehicle. I think it could have been like, so vehicle. easily prevented. Yeah, it could have been easily prevented. Like I could have looked both ways. 
So now we have a dented, and now we gotta get it fixed, but obviously we can't get it fixed right now because oh, what's of going everything on? that's going on, so yeah. I haven't even taken it. But I mean, I still drive it, it's not really anything Yeah, you guys big. are about to see. It sucks because you damage your vehicle, and then now you gotta get fixed, you gotta take it to the shop, and then especially right now with everything going on, like we can't even take it to get fixed yet. Yeah, so I was pretty mad actually so, when it happened, yeah, she was but mad. I was not like, furious but i was just like seriously like you can be like blah, 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 you know like just find him like oh my god i yeah, can't believe it what did i tell you, you gotta understand that accidents happen yeah that's yeah. what I, that's oh, the story okay. i was gonna say actually um because that morning or like the day before i actually dropped my coffee like on the glass coffee that i tell you guys that i've been like, obsessing over i literally dropped the coffee it shattered everywhere the glass the coffee went everywhere like did i mean to drop the coffee no like i accidentally i don't know why i just slipped out my hand and i was like oh! it and shattered then, everywhere besides that though there's like Major major worst things going on in the going on in the world right now. So how are we gonna like draw on a little crash? But regardless we wanted to share it with you guys because now that we're telling the story It's actually kind of funny like how he's yeah, just like reversing it. My dad's truck literally it. I mean he, it's a big ass truck so he, And he has like the, the He has a big old chrome bumper. Yeah, the bumper. So he just it did the dent a little bit But not, not as bad as the You car. literally can't even sit on his, on his trato. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let me show you guys so this is what happened. It looks fine, right? <laughs> right here, it looks like somebody just went like this. Boom! I know, are you proud of that, sir? No, I'm not proud, guys. It sucks. And I see it and I'm like, oh. And I did break the tail light. No! Anyways, yesterday, um, if you guys watched my live on Facebook, we went live doing cheesecakes. Two of them, I put whipped cream with strawberries, and this one, um, it's literally just strawberries, like chunks of strawberries, and any kind of marmalada. We just so happened to have this one from Welch. Strawberry spread, aka strawberry jelly. And this is also another way that you can make, like, you know your toppings for either a cake or especially for a cheesecake. I had told you guys that I was gonna Snapchat it once I put the spread, but I thought it would be better. For me to just do it here on this vlog, since we are already vlogging. So here's a cheesecake, 100% cooled down. It was on the fridge overnight. And then this right here is a spread. Um, before mixing it together, I just put it on the microwave for about 10 seconds to get it a little bit softened up. And then I put the strawberries. And yeah, this has also been in the fridge all night. So I'm just throwing it on the cheesecake. I don't know if you guys can hear Baby G literally just mumbling in the back. And then just spread it around. Comment down below what is your favorite cheesecake topping. Like, would you guys rather fresas con crema? Like the whipped cream and strawberries or jelly and strawberries? So I'm gonna put all of it right about there. I don't like to put too much either because I feel like empalaga because the cheesecake is already pretty sweet. Oops. So here is the cheesecake. Guys, I don't know why. Like my whole life I've been like this. Like, todo se me cae. Tengo uh, manos de estómago, se dice. Like everything, do you get the whole manos de estómago? Uh, knee slapper. We are about to go grab some Chick-fil-A and then I'll have a little mukbang with you guys and tell you guys all the tea about. You already spilled the tea, what do you mean? More tea, I have more tea on your name. Like what? <laughs> just kidding. So Alex just got us some Chick-fil-A. Guys, have you all heard or seen um, this trend going on on TikTok? Alex is like, what the heck are you doing? So let me show you guys. So you get a big bowl, some chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. I got the eight piece count. That's normally what I get. Throw them on here. And then you get some fries. I think I got a medium. Is this medium or large? Or it doesn't matter. I don't know, but some chicken nuggets, some fries. You throw them in here. And then you put some ranch. I actually love ranch. I used to not like ranch, like literally growing up. I don't know why I thought ranch was so nasty, but then I just ended up loving ranch, like growing a feeling for it, especially with like wings, oh my God, or pizza, or even this right now. So one pack of ranch, and then a pack of the buffalo. My mouth is getting watery. It's actually my second time trying it, and it was pretty bomb the first time, so say no more. And then you get another bowl. And then this is what you have. So here's a fry. Mmm. Exquisite. Exquisite. Is that a word? Exquisite. Dang, that one I had a way off. Exquisite. Guys, every time that I hear this song that I'm about to play for you guys, it just reminds me like of this dance. Like it just wants to make me dance like this. So don't mind me while I wild out and just try and live my best life during quarantine. <laughs> Fun, right? 
One, I hope this doesn't get copyrighted. And two, tell me why that's a workout. I did it like four or five times because I couldn't get it on the beat. And I'm tired. So I just got this package. Hello. Alice took a wild guess and said spicy noodles. So I was telling you guys on my Facebook live that this week, I think like in two weeks, he already has his four, four month appointment. And at that appointment, the doctor, his pediatrician told us that he will be able to eat certain, certain only um, solid food. So we're waiting for that appointment. So you can tell us what is like already approved for him, approved for him and not, you know, based on his weight, um, how much he, how long he is, y todo eso. But I went ahead and ordered him these spoons. So these are four months and more. Look how cute these are. So it is a blue one and then a dark one. And then on this end, it's actually like a little mordedera. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. In case he wants to bite on the spoon, it'll make him... It's like a little teething toy at the end. And then these, I'm not going to open these um, just because I'm not going to use them yet. But then I also got him these. I think six will be enough and obviously he's going to use them till You know, he's older. So I got him these. And I got him some food that is supported sitter, which is what he is right now. Well, after his appointment. So I got him prune. I got him banana. And then I also got him supported sitter oatmeal. And then also some rice. I actually had some in the closet. I don't know who ended up giving it to me. And I thought it was for him, but no, the one that is the the oatmeal that I have is actually for like six months or something, so he cannot eat that yet. And yes, all of this is um, his pediatrician approved, so don't worry. I just wanted to have everything ready um, for after that appointment because I'm so so excited to feed him for the first time because obviously we never have. Right now he only eats off bottle, so I feel like it's gonna be so funny because he's gonna be so confused as to like what's in his mouth, which we will for sure be vlogging that like the first time that we feed him. Who wants to take a wild guess? on what's in this box do you sir so i ordered spicy noodles so i had told you guys that i was done ordering them because when i have them in my closet it's so hard for me to say no but with this whole quarantine i was like there's no way like life is already so boring as it is so i was like this is the only thing that can spice up my life at the moment so i went ahead and ordered some so yeah besides the spicy noodles i also ordered this so it is a cup holder to put on this stroller because as you guys can see it doesn't have anything and we've been taking them out almost every day to just pasearlo around in our backyard and normally i have like you know a cup can you tell him something bebecito so yeah we've been going outside and i always have like a water a coffee or something and i have to be like pushing it and holding it with my hand so i went ahead and ordered a cup holder to put it right here and i can push you around and we can have a lot of fun in the backyard guys isn't he getting like such a chubby boy he went up an ounce on his bottle and he has just been eating good let me tell you yeah it's crazy to me because like i feel like in every angle he looks so different like when he's laying down when he's doing tummy time um right now that i'm just holding him like this like um and all these different angles but you look beautiful in every angle okay don't i'm not saying otherwise i'm just saying you look so different because you are the most beautiful ever so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell right next to it. That way you can notify it every single time that we post a new video. We love you guys and we will see you on the next one Bye very, guys. very soon because quarantine life. So yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. But what am I supposed to do? <laughs> You're just supposed to look at me. Okay, now do one like this. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, perfect. Don't move. Hold on. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs>